Hello and welcome to the special presentation of the ZS Prize. My name is Suresh Venkat. I'll be your host through the series. As part of the ZS Prize initiative, I will be speaking to some of the leaders in the Indian healthcare industry. Sanjay Joshi is a managing principal at ZS. He heads the Asian region for the organization and is also a member of the firm-wide Global Management Council. ZS is a global consulting and professional services firm focusing on consulting, technology, products, and platforms. The CS serves clients across a number of industries, including healthcare, technology, travel and hospitality, and financial services. Sanjay is here today to talk to us about the ZS Club. Sanjay, first up, tell us a little bit about the work of ZS. What drives your organization? We are a global uh, consulting firm. Uh, about uh, just short of 40 years of history, young firm, relatively. Uh, we got 25 plus offices around the world, uh, three in India, uh, in Gurgaon, Bangalore, uh, Pune, uh, about 6,000 people in India. And from a client perspective, as you said, we, we serve on one end at the global uh, Fortune 500. On the other hand, uh, some high growth emerging uh, startups as well across sectors. Uh, from a client perspective, we are very, very deep in the healthcare and life sciences space. We serve some of the largest biopharmas, uh, as well as uh, uh, innovative biotechs. Uh, in terms of the work, uh, we are helping our clients uh, launch new cancer therapies. We are helping them with model uh, patient journeys. We help them design clinical trials. We help uh, bring new drugs to the market through clinical trial optimizations, uh, applying, uh, applying AI and data uh, to predict the next best action for patient care, uh, much like uh, Netflix does in recommending the next best movie uh, for you to watch. So uh, very, very deep in healthcare and uh, advising clients, both from the very large biopharmas to to the emerging biotechs. All right, Sanjay, let's get to the heart of the matter. What is the ZS Prize? We are launching ZS Prize with a specific singular focus on advancing healthcare innovation. ZS Prize is, a, is an award, a celebration uh, to advance, improve health and healthcare in India. Uh, in some sense, it is really a solve for India. Uh, we do want to reward healthcare innovations that do the greatest good to the greatest number in India. And uh, particularly in today's environment where in light of the COVID pandemic, as we would all acknowledge, there is one issue that is dominating all conversation, that is dominating all agenda items, and that is the issue of health and healthcare. Combine that top of mind issue with all the changes that are happening in the healthcare sector, and what you have is a perfect storm, perfect storm of innovation and disruption. And driving this disruption, driving this innovation is um, a kind of advances in computational biology, B uh, changes in application of new data and AI and information technology to the problems that we could not solve with pure, uh, the kind of data that we had before the onset of new user data, user generated data. Uh, and of course, advances in, in life sciences from a, from a cell and gene therapy standpoint that is leading to precision and personalized medicine. So what you see here is, uh, is really a confluence of multiple drivers that are disrupting healthcare. And we want to tap into all these innovation streams. We want ZS Prize to be a, a catalyst and enabler uh, and ZS Prize to be a platform where such innovations could be surfaced and rewarded. 
Uh, so that's the idea behind behind ZS Price. That sounds like a pretty ambitious project. What are some of your goals at ZS for this project? Our ambition for for ZS Prize is to make it an institution. Uh, uh, it's it's early. We are launching this year, but but our end game that it does become an institution. Uh, we are launching in India, but our goal is to take it global uh, in the coming years. And in India, uh, we hope ZS Prize, as I shared earlier, becomes a catalyst, an important contributor to solving some of the issues that are specific and unique to India, in particular uh, issues around access to healthcare, issues around affordability uh, of healthcare. Uh, for instance, um, how can we shape interventions and innovation that address social determinants of health? Uh, that is not after the fact healthcare, but solving for before the fact preventive measures that we can take. In fact, your zip code may have as much a determination of your health as your genetic code. So how can we play a role in solving some of these behavioral health uh, elements uh, in, and solve it for the with the larger uh, talent pool uh, that can contribute to such solutions? Excellent. And what's your advice to teams who are participating in this project? As I shared, uh, ZS Prize is indeed a solve for India. Uh, India is a beautiful country and beautiful minds all across India, uh, uh, be it, uh, be it uh, Bardwan in Bengal or uh, Tejpur in Assam or, or Rachi or Trichy. Uh, we, there's so much good talent all across India. Uh, what one of the most interesting thing that is happening today in India is the flourishing of talent all across. Uh, maybe the talent, of course, was always there, but what you have today is a better channels for expression of that talent. So our ZS Prize hopefully is a is an invitation, is a is a is a call for action to the bright minds to take on the challenge. Uh, uh, we hope they will uh, take this as something for India, as I said. In the process, they will get uh, exposure to some really distinguished, preeminent leaders in the healthcare industry. Um, for instance, uh, Ravi Venkateshan, the ex-chairman of Microsoft India, uh, will be chairing the jury, the independent jury. No ZS member will be part of the jury. Uh, Kiran Mazumdar uh, has been kind enough, chairman of Biocon, chairperson of Biocon, uh, is member of the jury. Sangeeta Reddy, uh, managing director of Apollo, she's part of the jury. So I hope uh, the young talent get, will get to engage uh, with the jury members uh, along the process. And not only that, um, they will have mentorship. They will have mentorship uh, from industry folks to help their idea become good to great. So I hope with these, and of course, uh, the prize money of a one crore uh, is not too shabby either. And, and I hope uh, our, our, our young talent uh, really takes it as a, as a challenge. And, and um, I just want to say to them, are you, are you ready to solve something big for India? Uh, something that will impact the lives of tens of millions? hundreds of millions of people, are you game? So that's, that's the challenge I would love to pose to our sharp minds all across the country. Sanjay Joshi, thank you very much for talking to us. You're watching a special presentation of the ZS Prize. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.